Nelson, Certified Elder Law Attorney with Anderson Elder Law, here to talk to you about the essential estate planning documents you will need with an elder law focus and what happens if you don't have these documents. The most important document you can have from an elder law point of view is a durable power of attorney. This is because this is a document where you can appoint who gets to be your decision maker and make financial decisions for you in the event you're unable to do so. What happens if you don't have a financial power of attorney? If financial decisions need to be made and you're unable to do them, then anyone can petition to become your guardian through the orphan's court. This is a time consuming, expensive, and embarrassing process. It involves you having to appear before a judge and them adjudicating you an incapacitated person upon the presentation of evidence, of course, that you can't handle your affairs. And then you lose all of your fundamental rights. It seems like a pretty high price to pay to not having a financial power of attorney. So we strongly recommend that everyone have a financial power of attorney as a key part of their elder law focused estate plan. The other element to an elder law focused estate plan has to do with health care. Health care decision making can become vitally important as we all age. It is important for us to maintain self-determination throughout our aging and disease process. While we all certainly hope that we never become seriously or chronically ill, the statistics show it's very likely for us to develop all sorts of illnesses, particularly dementia, as we age. Therefore, a healthcare power of attorney where you're appointing a healthcare agent can allow you to say who gets to make these critical healthcare decisions for you if you are to become unable to do so on your own. The living will is a companion document that talks about the healthcare choices to be made at the very end of your life when you are no longer able to make these decisions and allows you to give instructions ahead of time to your agents and your healthcare team that should you become terminally ill and incapacitated or in a permanent coma that you want comfort measures only and not medical interventions that only serve to prolong the process of your dying. As you can imagine, this is a very serious and important document. We recommend that you do this with an attorney and also by talking to your healthcare treatment providers to make sure that you understand the choices that you're making and that you discuss them with your children. While the, this document, the healthcare power of attorney and the living will are vital parts of your estate plan, the better approach is to also talk to your family who will be making these decisions for you because oftentimes it's the discussions, the conversations that you have with them about your wishes and preferences for healthcare treatment that are the most impactful and really do serve to ease the burdens at the very end of life. Lastly is the will. Most people call the office saying that they just need a will, but as we just talked about, the more crucial documents really are the financial power of attorney and the healthcare power of attorney. With the will, you're able to say who gets your property when you pass away and designate an executor to administer your estate. In the absence of a will, the state and testate law determines who gets your property. Many people mistakenly believe that your property goes to the state if you don't make a will, but this isn't what the intestate law says. It makes provisions for your spouse and children in the event you do not have a will, but may not be in the percentages that you would like. Therefore, it is vitally important to assure that you have a will to pass your property as you intend and to avoid disputes down the line. Most of my clients want their estates to go smoothly when they pass away. That doesn't happen by accident or chance. Planning and going through the planning process and having these documents prepared is a critical piece to making sure that your wishes are known and honored.